after trying the robotic arms in Tokyo, I headed closer to home, to Cambridge, to meet with Danny Claude and the team that is working on a third thumb. That's right, a third thumb. Whoa! <laughs> Danny Claude is an augmentation and prosthetics designer at the University of Cambridge's Plasticity Lab. Yeah, so this is my third thumb. Um, so starting on the handpiece, there's uh, the thumb, obviously. So it's a flexible um, thumb. It's completely 3D printed and there's kind of three main elements. It's got a rigid handpiece with flexible straps and then that's connected to two motors that I wear on my wrist, very similar position to a watch. And then you can see those are kind of pulling the yeah. third thumb. And that's connected to this wearable up here. Uh, this is the battery, mm -hmm. uh, which is replaceable. And then this PCB is wirelessly connected to what I'm wearing in my shoes yeah. and around my ankles. Obviously, I had to try it for myself. You've got two pressure sensors, one mm -hmm. underneath each big toe. And it's just basically a pulley system. It's completely flexible mm. um, 3D print, so it's very compliant. Now press your toes down, one at each Whoa. toe. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> so that's, so that's your left toe. That's so cool. Okay, and then your right, right toe does okay. a trick. Yeah, so I can like move it. So and, do, yeah, so um, it'll give it a kind of really, really slow, delicate press. Yeah, you'll see that there's a proportional control. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you have a lot of control over it. Or you can go fast, do a f fast, quick press. Yeah. It's quite powerful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah like, wow. <laughs> it does surprise people. <laughs> it's so cool. The speed is controlled by how hard you press down, so that is pretty quick. And you can do like a bit more of a slower, like more delicate movements. So actually trying to like move them in tandem and getting the pressure right, I think is going to be a real challenge of like learning how to use this. On the left foot, I've actually got on quite a good level of control over like, the pressure. It's really powerful. Look, you can see it, if, I, if I squeeze it like, you can see how much pressure it's putting on the palm of my hand there, look. Sounds like a little little robot or like a little like droid or something from Star Wars. You can kind of see the 3D printed like corrugation on the inside. And then these tendons are like super thin. What are they made of, Danny? It's kind of like a, a technical fishing line. Okay, yeah, so fishing line, yes. Yeah, so it's, yeah, I guess yeah. it's strong and light and, and like pretty robust. 